opportunity, we would appreciate it. So let's dive into topic number one here, and that would be LSU uh, wide receiver Jamar Chase is opting out for the 2020 season. This came down yesterday afternoon, was a massive, massive deal. Oh, by the way, anybody that wants to jump into the chat, you can do so on any of your platforms right there in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. You'll be able to get in right there. So go ahead and knock that out and, uh, and jump in. You can help drive the conversation. But Jamar Chase opts out, and then it, just a couple of hours after that, we find out that Memphis running back Kenneth Gainwell is opting out, and he was expected to be up for AAC Player of the Year. Yes, he had over 2,000 yards from scrimmage last year. Uh, Jamar Chase had a ton of receiving yards. What did he have, over 1,700, over 1,800 yeah. yards it, last year? I mean, year? he was the best receiver in football last year. Yeah, it, I mean, it wasn't even close. It, it was on the, it was On the best offensive team that we've ever seen in history, that single season could go down as the greatest wide receiving season we've ever had. Yeah. To only get one of those, oh, it's a tough pill to swallow. Oh, I it certainly is. I didn't is. take it well yesterday at all. Well, I will, I will say this. The reason I wanted to bring it up is because, one, we haven't had a chance to talk about it, and two, uh, there is a major difference in what kids are able to sit out for this season, right? We, we knew, obviously, some people are scared of the virus. Some people are scared of the pandemic. And on Kenneth Gainwell's side, he has lost four family members to COVID. So you That's can tough. totally understand that aspect of it. Jamar Chase on the other side, that's where it gets a little different, right? Jamar Chase it hadn't been through anything like that, but he hit his high point in January. He There was no reason for him to come back this season. And when you've got an opportunity in a very weird, messed up year to go ahead and sit this one out, go ahead and get your agent money, and just start working out that for the draft – I think that's it. I think financial. this was a financial decision, and he said that in his thing, basically. He said, I had to make the best decision for my family. You you say that when you're saying, I have to go make money. Yes. Okay? We, and, and I'll tell you this. This is a time and place where he doesn't come from affluence. Okay? He doesn't have a, a, a family of means already. And coming to college and, and, and preparing yourself for, for a career. That's a good thing. I do think these guys get some money and I don't think it's a couple of thousand dollars here or there, but that doesn't go a long way when you're trying to take care of family and the agent money that they guys can fork out. They're basically loans on a guaranteed contract that you're going to get. It, it, it's life changing. Yes. And, and that's a situation where I, I hate it, but I understand it's not even about, he has nothing enough to prove. He has nothing. To, it's you got to take care of your family we're all hurting right now in the world of COVID more than we are, have normally hurt. Okay. Not a lot of people are doing better today than they were this time last year. And so if your family is already struggling financially, anything's better than nothing. I, go get your money, go get yourself taken care of. I respect it. I really, really, really hate it. Yeah. No, I, I can understand I want it. to see this young man play because I think he is a star. Oh, I think he is, too. I think he is, too. Joseph Gomez jumps in on YouTube. He said, if you know you're going to the Combine, it's a lot safer financially to just sit. Yeah. It, well, it's, it's true. Well, it's not even about financial. You're getting paid today. Yeah. There's an agent that's stroking your family. There's a really good chance mid to upper six figures, maybe even seven figures, if they think you're guaranteed worth that. I agree. I agree. So uh, so we wanted to highlight that just a little bit to show, like, there are different reasons why kids are sitting out this year. And, and I don't expect this to be a trend going forward, anything like that. I think once – No, I think the ones that are doing it have already made up their mind. And I think yeah. he was just really struggling, and we got to, to the point of the season where it's just dick-cutting time. Are you in or are you out? Yeah. I, I mean, you need to figure out what you are going to do, and, and this, is, this is what he decided to do. So with that said – uh, up Mark one jumps in. He said, what's up guys? What is up, Mark? Uh, again, everybody that wants to jump into the chat, you can do so any platform. It populates right there on the screen for you. You will be able to see it. Uh, for those that want to ask questions on uh, the podcast thing, you can review the podcast and leave questions over there. We will answer those as well. 